Hi guys. So I thought I would. <laughs> Every time I start talking. Every time I start talking. Um, thought I'd jump on here and give an update on Max. If you're not on my Facebook page, um, you do not know, but Max, um, fr today's Monday, just this past Friday, Max woke up. Uh, I let him out of his crate, and he threw up some phlegm. And um, sometimes my dogs will do that um, if their stomach is empty and it doesn't have nothing to work on. That's why I feed them three times a day. Um, so I, I fed him his breakfast. He wanted to eat. Um, fed him his breakfast. And um, he still was throwing up phlegm. A little bit later on, he started throwing up pieces of his food. Um, but this went on until it started at 8, 7.38, and then it lasted till about 1 o'clock. Um, and, yeah. So it was a Friday, and I thought to myself, Saturday, Saturday my vet only takes appointments. So I figured I better get him to the vet, because if I don't get him to the vet and he's sick all weekend, I'm going to kick myself in the rear. Um, so... Where is Max? I don't even know where Max is. Let's get up here. I'm sitting outside because it's beautiful today. I'm in capri pants and flip flops. <laughs> There's Max. There's Max over there. There you are, Max. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's Max. There's Max. Yes. What are you doing up there? So, um, so we took him to the vet and um, went through. They asked us a bunch of questions. And they decided they wanted to do an x-ray um, because I took some video of Max, how he was throwing up, the sound he was making. So if you ever have a problem with your dog, um, with anything, try to videotape it if you can so you can show your vet. Because she said it's almost like a coughing, like something was in his throat or something. So they wanted to do x-rays to make sure nothing was in his stomach, in his throat, or his esophagus. Um... What is there? Is there a critter under here? Is there a critter under this wood? <laughs> is there something under there? Something under there, Max? Oh, Lord. I hope not. Okay, everybody needs to get away from the wood. Go on. Go on. You guys listen so well. Go on, Max. <laughs> go on. Max, go. Go on. I want no killing around me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Max. There must be something under there. Yeah. Max, go on, go on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Anyways, so, what was I saying? I get so distracted with these boys. Um, yes, yeah, so they did x-rays, um, and then they did a snap pancreatic test, um, to see if he was having, um, pancreas issues, which... The x-ray showed nothing except a little bit of air in his stomach, and they said that was normal because of his throwing up. And the SNAP pancreatic test came back normal, too. So they gave him an antibiotic, and he's been doing good ever since. He had a little bit in the, the next day, Saturday morning, a little bit of that coughing noise. But he's been fine ever since and running around and playing and doing great. So... No clue what it could have been. So, just something in his GI tract, I guess. So, thank goodness he's okay. And then Saturday, my daughter said, Kitten had blood on his eye. And I was like, what? So, I looked at his eye, and his eye almost looked... It didn't look like he was scratching it. But it looked like it was, like, just, like, raw looking. Around his... Would have been his right eye. And, um... What are you eating? Are you eating bird food? Get out of there. Get out of there, mister. Um, so I thought, great, now I gotta go back to the vet again. And mind you, Thursday I was at the vet with Marley and Mozzie all by myself, taking two dogs to the vet to get Mozzie a couple shots and Marley heartworm test. So I'm like, I feel like I live at the vet sometimes. It seems like this stuff happens all at the same time, I swear. It does. Um, so, all weekend, Saturday morning, Saturday night, 
Sunday morning, Sunday night, I used a warm washcloth on, on Kitten's eye and I rubbed antibiotic ointment on his um, eye and it's healing up great. I mean, it, it looks so much better. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and um, see if it happens again. And if it does, oh, there's a piece of plastic in the yard. Are you okay? Are you okay? What'd you eat? What'd you eat? There's a bone right there. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And if it flares up again, I'll have to take him to the vet and see what's going on. Maybe allergies or something. Not sure. Um, so yeah. It's a beautiful day today it's supposed to be I think 71 today and the Sun is just shining and it's just gorgeous out I'm so happy spring is finally here <laughs> I'm so happy might help my mood a little oh it's just been this past this the past week was just a just a terrible week so um oh I was gonna show you guys too that wood over there that Max is now staring at again Max what's over there what is over there? Is there a chipmunk over there? <laughs> that is from when Magnum was a puppy when we first brought him home. If you guys remember, a couple weeks after we brought him home, we were going on a trip to Port Huron, Michigan. And I was scared because he was so little that he was going to get out of the yard because some of the fencing is a little bit high up around here. So I put two by fours and tent stakes all along here around I mean almost our whole fence almost our whole fence line had it I still have a couple over here because they're still kind of high up and I just I'm just leaving those up so yeah so my yard doesn't look too uh too white trash anymore <laughs> that's what I called it I said our yard looks white trash because all these two by fours and tent stakes <laughs> got up around the fence but I still have this um trellis up because the dog that lives right here my dogs just go at that fence and I'm scared they're gonna break it so I have it kind of leaning you see I don't even know if you can tell it's kind of leaning out so they can't just I mean when five dogs get at one spot I'm scared they're gonna break a piece of that plastic so um, I still have this up along here and this is where they really go at it right here and they were pulling the stakes out and getting behind there so I had to put a couple bricks there yeah he's dogs <laughs> but you do what you got to do um so yeah I've got a couple two by fours right here that one where the plastic is broke um when we first moved in it was broken we didn't know it and the wind knocked it down and my, all four of my dogs when we had four at the time all escaped the yard so, um, yeah, so I have a couple still up, but I'm happy I, uh, got to take most of it all down so it don't look so crazy. I think the neighbor's kids are home. They might start barking. But anyways, and I got the dogs, um, outside beds out for them. So if we're sitting around the fire pit, they got something to lay on instead of a dewy ground at night. Um, and I got, I bought some, uh, bird food so I can put them in my bird feeders I have. I took down my clothesline because I just wasn't, I wasn't bringing the clothes out. If my, if my laundry room was upstairs, I would probably hang my clothes out more, but I took it down and those poles are just going to be to hold, uh, bird feeders now. So anyways, I wanted to say thank you to, I got a card for Max. Marley and Magnum's birthday from Beverly. She sent them a $50 Amazon card. So we got to get them some goodies. And she sent a contribution to my emergency fund. So thank you so much, Beverly. And I got a couple um, sympathy cards in the mail. Um, um, one was from Natalie. And one was from Emily. And I'm going to have to put the name of the other person right here. Because I can't remember offhand. Um who it was but they were from Ireland I remember that <laughs> so um thank you guys so much it's so nice of you to everybody just everybody who was sending their prayers um to our family uh when we lost my grandma so I want to thank everybody 
So anyways, this is kind of a chatty video, but just wanted to let everyone know that Max is doing better. That was following our my Facebook post because I was really worried he was having another pancreatitis attack. Because uh, I kept thinking, what did he eat? I, I feed him a strict low-fat diet. I don't know what he could have ate for that to be the problem. Well, it wasn't, thank goodness. And, uh, and give a little update on kittens, so... I'm going to end it here. I'm going to enjoy some time outside with the boys. Because I think after tomorrow we're supposed to have rain for like three days. <laughs> so I want to enjoy, enjoy some time outside and play with the dogs. You want to play? You want to play, Magnum? You want to play? Yes. You want to play? Yes. You want to play with your goose goose? You want to play with your goose goose? Okay. Alright guys. We'll see you in the next video.